Hey guys, we are now here in Venice. It's also called the Floating City. Because it is made up of more than 100 small islands in this lagoon. And for us to be able to go around, it's either by foot. Or by water taxi. Or water buses. Since arriving here in Venice by a train, it took us about two to three minutes walk, mm -hmm. and you're already outside, and you can see the Grand Canal. It's just an amazing view. I haven't seen any city like that so far. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Now we're going to drop our luggages to our accommodation, which is about two minutes away. Buongiorno, come stai? Bene, bene. Hello, good afternoon. They are more. So if you're planning to make a quick trip to Venice while you're here in Italy, it's good to book an accommodation near the main train station. Initially, I actually booked somewhere around here. I'm not sure if you can see the map. Uh, we were meant to stay around here, but then I realized we have to take a um, water taxi to go into the accommodation just for a day. So what we've done is we booked an accommodation like two to three minutes walk to the main station. So after we leave our luggage, we decided to... We wasted no time. Did we wasted no time? Wasted no time. <laughs> Went straight in to ride the gondola. That's it. It was an amazing experience. It's yeah. very romantic. It is. If you want to ride a gondola, it's usually 80 euros if you're by yourselves. 80 euros during the day and 100 euros during the night. But I think it's best to go during the day because you can see a lot of things. I reckon not just day specifically, but probably sunset will be the best. They actually have a very good control with driving the boat. Yeah, they only use one long paddle. I'm not sure what exactly they call that. You can see a few people like waving at us, yeah. waving around, saying hi. After half an hour, we've ended that one. And then after that, we are just starving. And uh, we were searching for the local foods. I think there is one that's called tra tra Tramezzini. Tramezzini. So very nice. You must try trapezino. Let's try their trapezino. Apparently it's called trapezini and it has um, shrimp. Let's try. Oh my god, it's actually good. It's my turn. It's a bit salty. Tastes good. One thing that interests me here in Venice is that you can drink an alcohol in the public. Foods and drinks. So there's a lot of like small stalls that they can just uh, mix you up a drink. We're very lucky that it's 11.11 today, which is St. Martin's Day here in Venice. So we've seen plenty of kids during this time. And we've asked one of the local uh, yeah. what's going on because they have like this caroling. It's like a metal plate, but they try to make noise out of it. One of the locals said that um, it's like a Venetian a tra tradition. tradition that they do it today. Yeah. It's like a trick. It's or like treat. a trick or treat. Yeah. Yeah. Which is very cool. Of it's actually a good tradition to witness while you're traveling. And another thing that we've noticed is that a lot of stores actually um, selling masks, it's like painted masks, like different styles, everything. So we were wondering why are there lots of masks in uh, Venice? So we've tried to ask a few locals and they said that um, like way back they have this tradition where everyone's just gonna have like a gathering. And whenever they come to the gathering festivity. or festivity, they just wear the mask. You can hide your identity, everyone's equal. So to wrap things up, um, a day in Venice is something that definitely we'll never forget. It's a very special city 
it's a uh, moment to remember and you must go in Venice if you're traveling Italy. And don't forget the gondola or the boat. Yum! So good! <laughs> I told you not it! <laughs> Can't afford to be late again, otherwise the train will leave us. Let's go. Let's go. I need a coffee. I need a coffee. Going to platform seven. Line. The train will be left. Grazie, Venice. Ciao. Ciao.